What's up guys, Electric Unicycle Sweden here and today I want to talk about the Inmotion V10F. So I've been riding this wheel for about a year uh, and I put down 4500 kilometers and I think I'm finally ready to review it, give my opinions about it, uh, what is good, what is bad and what you can expect if you want to purchase it yourself. Uh, I won't compare it to a lot of other wheels, I haven't tried too many. I, I have a MC, Gotway MCM5 uh, 14 inch one, but I don't think it's a good comparison. And I've briefly tried the Kingston S18, but it's not that much so I can actually give a fair comparison how it compares to it. So I think there's better videos for that, but if you're interested in my use case, how uh, how I like this wheel in particular, the what I don't like about it, uh, you should definitely keep watching. So what are my use cases? Uh, yeah, you just saw one of them. I mainly commute right now actually, so I don't have to go on the subway. Uh, and it's a really nice way of getting around, uh, it's fun, you get outside, you don't have to sweat with a lot of people, it's a really nice way of commuting. Uh, and why am I mostly commuting right now? Uh, yes, so I recently became a dad, I don't have too much time to ride for fun, uh, as I'm doing today. Uh, I'm gonna claw my vacation. So yeah, it's mainly commutes to and from work uh, and this off-roading uh, I'm not doing that often and I just hit a roadblock. Uh, let's go over it and see if we can continue. All right, I just passed it. So yeah, as I said, commuting is my main uh, mode of transportation right now. I usually commute 15 kilometers one way uh, to work and 50 kilometers back and with the Inmotion V10F I don't have to charge when I'm at work which for me is really good uh, because I've heard that that is usually when malfunctions or fires happen so I don't want it uh, the wheel to be inside of my office when that happens because it's, uh, it's quite a hassle to get it out of there and yeah I can tell you since we're doing it like the Inmotion V10F you can off-road on it it is a bit difficult, the wheel is quite small, uh, so roots and whatever is really really bad. But just going on like gravel roads or like this, uh, like non-paved roads uh, that are quite okay, it's actually totally fine. I don't have an issue with it. Maybe a bigger wheel would be better, but I mean it's doable, I've done it several times. It's lots of fun. So I like in general I feel that the Inmotion VTNF is a really really solid wheel, I've never had any issues with it. Uh, not from like a functional point of view that it, like, it doesn't start, it doesn't charge. Uh, I always reach 100% uh, charge state, which is really good. Uh, and when it comes to performance, I think it's decent. Uh, I am a little bit of a speed demon. I do enjoy it when it goes fast and I do feel maybe crippled or like uh, that the VTNF is not giving me the performance I always want. Uh, riding the beach uh, quite quite a lot. Um, but yeah, but like I mean, I'm usually riding in bike lanes or like small roads like the one I'm on right now. Uh, and for that use case, I don't really see why I need a faster wheel. I did have a bad fall uh, two weeks ago like I got a cut out I was on low charge I hit the bumps I didn't see in the road uh, and the wheel is turned off and I face planted into the ground and, and then of course maybe it would have been nicer with some more performance uh, maybe the cutout would not happen happen uh, but I definitely feel that for most use cases this wheel is perfect for me like the amount of times I would actually go faster is quite small. So I quickly also want to talk about things that 
don't work properly or has malfunctioned uh, when I've used this thing. So yeah, here we have the InMotion with an F and uh, it has a kill switch here under the handle. So basically when you pull up the wheel, it should shut off. Uh, this one worked for maybe eight months, nine months, but now nothing happens and it just starts to spin. Uh, and yes, the seat. So this is a seat I've done myself. Uh, that's also one thing I don't like about this wheel, that they don't sell an official seat. Uh, but this was not super hard to make and it's actually quite comfortable. It's just a yoga block, so it does um, okay. Another thing that uh, broke down was, uh, so basically the handle here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the handle is uh, attached by some bit, bits of plastic and one broke off. So you can see this bit here. And uh, this happened actually not during a crash. So uh, the wheel was parked inside uh, my house and I used the foam that uh, came with the wheel when it arrived. And uh, yeah, during night the wheel fell, the plastic bit went off and I basically sold that by adding some Velcro here and here. So it's still attached when, uh, so I don't get the wheel, uh, the handle up in my butt when I'm riding. Uh, yes, what else? Has anything else broken? No, I think that's basically it. Uh, the rest works as it did when I bought the wheel. The tire is really weird out. I need to really replace it. And uh, when it comes to the speaker, like it is quite okay. Like It works, but it's way down here. So when you're riding, you don't hear too much. Uh, so that's why I have this additional speaker. I don't have to blast it as high. So I just got uh, overpowered, please get off. So basically you're overpowering the unicycle. So it tilts you back. If you're a heavy rider, like this overpowered thing is probably gonna be an issue because I only weigh 70 kilograms and I'm always overpowering this thing. If there's a small incline and you push it too hard, it will overpower. And that was everything I had to say for this time uh, about the InMotion VTNF. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, it would help a lot. Uh, and if you have any further questions about the InMotion VTNF or electric unicycles in general, uh, please leave a comment and I will uh, reply to it as soon as I can. And uh, see you in the next video.